Hello dear Fasmatic friends! Today, systems of linear equations by the Cramer's rule, the determinants method. Follow me please. First of all, we have to identify that we have a system with two unknowns, two unknowns, and with two equations, and that x is with the x, y with the y, and the numbers alone are together in columns. If it is not ordered, you have to order the equations in order to do this method. It is very, very important. After that, we are going to remember that when we solve a system of equations, we are going to find only one value for x, only one value for y, such that if you replace the value of x, the value of y, both equations are true at the same time. After that, we are going to name a for the coefficients of the x, b for the coefficients of the y, and c for the numbers here. Now, I'm not going to write some steps because it is very simple. You are going to follow two simple formulas. So we are going to write the formula x is equal to cb, the determinant of cb, we are going to see what's that, divided by the determinant of ab. And y will be equal to the determinant of ac divided by the determinant of ab. Very simple formula. But what's that? Well. How to remember that formulas and what's that? First of all, if you are finding x, you imagine that the numbers that are alone are in the place of the x. So c is here, b is here, c, b. And if you are finding y, you imagine that the numbers that are alone are in the place of y. So you have a, c, a, c. And in the denominator, always the coefficients that are here with the letters a b a b if you had x y z the same thing if you are calculating x the d that are the numbers that are alone will be here v b c and if you are calculating y a v c and if you are calculating c a, B, V, okay? And in the denominator, A, B, C, A, B, C, the, the coefficients with the letters. Well, now that we know how to remember those formulas, we are going to follow that. We are going to write the determinants of C, 1 and 7. B, negative 1 and plus 1. Divided by the determinant of A, 1 and 3. The determinant of B yields, negative 1 and plus 1. The coefficients will be written here. And for Y, the same thing. We are going to write the determinant of A, 1 and 3. The determinant of C, 1 and 7. The determinant of A, 1 and 3. And the determinant of B, negative 1 and plus 1. And what are we going to do? Well. To solve a determinant here is very simple. You multiply this number by this number, and after that, negative sign, and this number multiplied by this number. The main diagonal minus the, the multiplication of the numbers in the second diagonal. Let's do it. 1 times 1. And here, a negative sign, it is very, very important. 7 times negative 1, respecting the signs. Here, the same. 1 times 1, the numbers that are in the main diagonal. And after that, we are going to subtract that with the multiplication of the numbers that are in the second diagonal. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 7 times negative 1 is plus 7 divided by 
1 times 1 is 1, and after that, negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3. 8 divided by 4 will be equal to 2. So we have found that x will have a value of 2. And here the same, we multiply the numbers that are in the main diagonal. 1 times 7. Minus 3 times 1. And after that, 1 times 1. Minus 3 times negative 1. So 1 times 7 is 7. Minus 3 times 1 is 3. Divided by 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3. 7 minus 3 is 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. So, the value of y is 1. And that's it, dear phasmatic friends. We are going to write the answers. Always, the first number is x, the value of the, the unknown that is here. And after that, the value of y. If you replace both equations with those numbers, 2 here and 1 here, 2 here and 1 here, you will see that equations are true. 2 minus 1 is 1, and 2 times 3, 6, plus 1, 7. Thank you very much, dear Phasmatic friends. That's all, folks. See you next time.